<sighs> There's a game out there that throughout the years has been extremely overrated. You see this game on my top 10 overrated games list. People who've seen that video, you will know. You won't be surprised that I'm reviewing this game and the things I have to say about this game. So, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I was thinking of reviewing other Zelda games, but this... The other Zelda games are basically boring and unplayable. At least before Ocarina of Time. This game isn't unplayable. I'm not going to go that far into, you know, my review on it. But it is not... It's not... It's not the appeal that everyone says it is, like, there are much better games out there. Okay, so let me get into the obvious. So, obviously this game was released in 1998 for the Nintendo 64, and it was the first, it was Zelda's first transition to 3D. Mario's first transition to 3D being Super Mario 64, which I reviewed. And, um... That got a lot of hate as well. But for this review, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. People do not like to notice the flaws that this game has. And it does have flaws. If you don't think it has flaws, you really, 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 you're really blinded by your fanboyism. Really, you really are. Because if you think about it, most overrated games that have flaws are not noticed, like the flaws in the game. Like, of course there are flaws in Skyrim, but I don't really know. So, let me just start off this with one of the flaws, is that the voice acting, which there is none of, or huge lack there is of. You see, like, sounds of voices here and there, but that's, like, ridiculous, because I want to tell you why. Games like Crash Bandicoot had voice acting. On the PlayStation 1, there were plenty of games with voice acting in it, but this game, Nintendo decides to not include voice acting, and... You might think, oh, voice acting is not a problem. Heard there, but heard there, I'm a such a troll because I think that voice acting isn't a problem. When it really is. Because, I mean, if you... The reason why voice acting and not no voice acting in a game is an issue. Especially with a game of that kind. Is that the characters have text that goes by incredibly slow rate. Like, the, the text goes by very, 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 very slowly. Like, kind of like a bad Windows Movie Maker text video kind of thing. That's what it's like. And you can't even skip it. Yep. So, you're sitting there through text. You can't skip it till the text is completely done. So, you have to sit through the text and sit through the text and sit through the text. And this is a major issue. And also the fact that the game isn't really memorable at all. I can't name one memorable thing about the game because it was that boring. I mean, sure, I mean, it's a typical adventure game. Like, I've seen a lot of games like this before. And I don't really know. This game has been re-released so many times been re-released on the virtual console which is the first time i played it like maybe four years ago or five years ago um of course it was released on the n64 first but i'm reviewing the n64 version using um the 64 emulator but you got the 3ds it was re-released on to try to sell more 3ds's because there are people who would actually buy the game three to four times not not to mention buying it twice, but you got that, you got a version on the GameCube 
I don't even know why it was ported on the GameCube. The graphics aren't even better or anything. All the versions don't have improved graphics, which... They're even making a, a freaking Wind Waker HD version. The game everyone considers to be so underrated, but really... But back into the topic at hand, Ocarina of Time for the N64. The game's been re-released so many times, it's not really unique. And the fact of the matter is that if you give this game lower than a 10 out of 10, you get hate for it. I've seen this happen plenty of times. So imagine me giving this game a 57%. How do you think people are going to react to that? They're not going to be too happy, are they? Because I don't think they'd be happy. If they were happy, um, I'd be very surprised. Because they get pissed off, easily pissed off if you have a different opinion than them. So, thanks for watching my review of The Legend of Zelda Oak Arena of Time.